The Ford Tractor Hydraulic Lift Assembly. This video is brought to you by Just Aid In's Ford Tractor Parts and Restoration Service. This video applies to hydraulic lifts built between 1948 to 1952. Begin with the housing cover. Flip the cover over and install a shaft bushing in either side of the housing. Fit the lift ram arm between the shaft bushings and insert the keyed shaft through the bushings and ram arm so that it's centered about the housing. Mate the lift arms to the shaft so they are positioned approximately as shown. The arms and shaft are keyed so the correct positioning of the arms is fixed. Mount a cover plate to the shaft followed by a tabbed lock washer and secure with two hex bolts. After torquing the bolts, bend the tabs up against the hex flats. Repeat this procedure for the other side. Now assemble the draft control spring assembly. Place the triangular plate over the plunger followed by the felt spring seat washer and the plate cap. Slide the spring seat over the plunger followed by the spring and then screw the yoke onto the plunger. Place the entire assembly through the housing lining up the three mating holes. Fasten with three hex bolts. Next, build the drawbar control arm assembly. Press a dowel pin into the side of the control arm and a roll pin into the top boss. Attach the drawbar control cam to the control arm with a clevis pin and cotter pin. Place the cam plate under the roll pin while putting the control rod through the spring and then through the arm. Secure with a lock nut. Position the drawbar control arm assembly in the housing as shown and then place the control lever shaft through the arm and housing. Now assemble the hand control lever assembly. Place a dowel pin in the arm facing as shown. The dowel pin should be flush with the opposite side of the arm. Put the draft control swivel in the arm and install the bushing in the swivel. The assembled unit is now placed on the control lever shaft. Insert the spring control fork through the fork retraction spring and then through the draft control swivel bushing. Rotate the hand control lever toward the draft control spring and line up the fork and plunger holes. Insert the clevis pin and secure with a cotter pin. Attach the hand control lever to the control lever shaft with a washer and castle nut secured with a cotter pin. Place a washer on the threaded portion of the draft control link and follow with a lock nut. Insert a drilled dowel pin in the drawbar control arm and insert the arm into the housing. Place the drawbar control link over the drilled dowel pin and fasten with a washer and cotter pin.
Insert a clevis pin through the drawbar control link and control cam and fasten with a cotter pin. Flip over the housing and install the drawbar control handle on the control arm shaft. Line up the holes in the arm and shaft and press in the flathead pin. Install the detent ball, spring, and cap for the position control friction lock. Place a washer on the shaft and then the gasket. Mount the quadrant with four hex bolt and lock washer sets. Place the lever to quadrant friction disc over the shaft and put the Woodruff key in the shaft. Slide on the friction plate and fasten it to the shaft with a washer, spring, and lock nut. Install the handle with two hex bolts and lock washers. Put the lever stop in the control lever retainer slot and mount it to the quadrant with two hex bolts. Secure the stop with a washer and wing nut. Flip the housing over and install three lubricated seal rings on the piston, then carefully place the piston in the cylinder. Put the cylinder gaskets on the housing and mate the cylinder to the housing with four square head bolts. Too long and too short. and then torque four nuts on the bolts. Insert a connecting rod in the cylinder and fasten it to the ram arm with a clevis pin and cotter pin. The lift assembly is now complete and must be adjusted prior to installation on the tractor. To see more videos from Just 8 Ends, remember to like and subscribe.